<laughs> Good morning, humanity. Or maybe it's afternoon, evening, or even the middle of the night. <laughs> Wherever you are, we are broadcasting from the epicenter of human unity in Oroville in southern India. My name is Fifth, and I'm your hostess with the mostest, and also the co founder of Medi Clown Academy, sharing love, laughter, and joy with. The universe. <laughs> have you ever been super excited about something and you have just been so filled with gratitude that you really, really want to share it with your friends, your neighbors, and maybe the world? So, now, sometimes when we're dealing with a serious matter, it's very easy to get very, very serious about it. Now, there is a time and a place. For seriousness, but sometimes when the lightness comes in, it adds a little bit to the learning. When we're light, we levitate. <laughs> so, in the therapeutic work that I do, and in the interventions, interventions I do as a medical clown, both in Canada and here now in India, we strive for heart connections. So, when those heart connections can lead to that joy, that feeling of warmth, love, happiness, wholeness, camaraderie between individuals and the community. Victor Borga, so all of you out there who know about Victor Borga, who's an incredible Danish musician and comedian, said laughter is the closest distance between two people. I love that. Laughter is the closest distance between two people. And when we share that laughter, we know that we can share our hopes, our fears, our frustrations, and together there's a trust that's built and we heal. Together we can heal. So, a few weeks ago, sorry, not a few weeks ago, just last week, a few Orvillians came together and we decided that we wanted to honor Sri Aurobindo on the anniversary of his birth. And we spent, oh, I don't know, days together, just really the last three days, pouring in our heart and our thoughts and our energy and our resources to pull together a special that was 90 minutes, but it took maybe, I don't know, 50, 100 hours, lots of time. And what we did was we wanted to show different aspects of Sri Aurobindo, including his humor. And you got to love his humor. So longtime Orvillian, who are brilliant actors as well, Otto and Sri Moy read an anecdote written by Nirod. Uh, Nirod. He's a doctor and a student of Sri Aurobindo. Now, what was delightful about this was also that Sri Moy happened to be one of his students at the ashram school in Pondicherry. And Dipti and our radio team of Stefano and Ruben, hello there. <laughs> Thank you. We all chuckled and laughed throughout as these two brilliant actors and uh, Sri Moy and Otto captured the hilarious exchange between Sri Aurobindo and his student. You can catch that on last week's uh, episode. Well, at the end, as we normally do in the program, I invited everyone to share laughter and to share laughter with the world because when we laugh, we heal ourselves and we can transform the world. So we left that day and we had positive messages and I received this message from someone that I have a great deal of love and respect for. And just see if you have ever felt this way. But And I read from the WhatsApp message. I just listened to the Darshan program. I have never commented to anyone about their program in all these years. But I have to tell you that my whole being was scandalized by such an extreme, by the way you ended it, that I cannot keep quiet. You should be very ashamed of yourself for asking all those serious people who were there in your power to do that. And even more ashamed of yourself to use Oroville Radio to broadcast it to the whole world. Huh. Well, initially, 
I really wasn't sure if this was a joke or if this was for real. And I read it several times. And I asked Mother and Sri Aurobindo, and I went deep into my heart. And it didn't bother me, which I thought was very interesting. And I sent it to my colleagues, Ruben and, and Stefano, and uh, I said, we'll talk about this tomorrow. But I just laughed because I thought this person has made some very gross assumptions and had judged me rather harshly. So this is how I chose to respond. You see, I could have become very bitter and frustrated and angry and, <clears throat> you know, very self-defensive. And I thought, no, there is some valuable feedback here. And so this is what I typed back. Actually, I have a dictaphone, so I read it back and it typed it out. It said, Thank you so much for your very valuable feedback. The entire program from beginning to end was a very collaborative process and not a single decision was made on my own. I will ask tonight. When I said I'll ask tonight, I meant I'll ask in the book and the book will fall open to the page and I will see what emerges with love and gratitude, fifth. And now I'd like to share with you what I read when I opened up Savitri by Sri Aurobindo. This is what leapt out to me. Creation leapt straight from the hands of God. Marvel and rapture wandered in the ways. Only to be was a supreme delight. Life was a happy laughter of the soul. And joy was king, would love for minister. The references are below, so have a look at that. So I shared all of this with Ruben and with Stefano, and we agreed that we would share this experience with you, our listener. Has something ever happened to you like that, where you wanted to share, and you were just like, <clears throat> stamped down? How did you feel? What did you do? What emerged for us was gratitude. And we wanted to inculcate this gratitude and ask, what is the lesson in this situation? And I realized that, you know what? Others may judge me. They may judge you. But when I go deep inside my heart and I ask the question, I know that happiness can come truly from inside. And I know what my purpose is. And here with Stefano and Ruben, we know what our purpose is with this show. So when others scold you and judge you and even try to shame you, stand firm in your resolve and know that it's their stuff, <laughs> not, your, not yours. It's their stuff, not yours. So... We are going to end the program and we are going to end with laughter throughout the world to heal this world of seriosity and to heal the world of the pain and suffering that's there. And we'll remember all those beautiful people that we know that can bring love and laughter into our life. So we would love to hear from you and thank you for sharing your thoughts your stories, and your feelings in the comments below. And do check out our website. We're also on YouTube. And there's some other fantastic programs here on the Oroville Radio. And listen to my fellow Orvillians. And hit that subscription button. And to quote Sri Aurobindo, to listen to some devout people, one would imagine that God never laughs. <laughs> so on that note, Stefano, Ruben, and all of you, I invite you to join us and let's send out love and laughter to everyone and heal this world of pain. So let's chat, laugh and join in. <laughs> <laughs> So please, right below this, share your mantra, share your intention, and contact us through the website, through our YouTube channel, anywhere. Just contact us. Leave a comment below. And thank you for all the encouraging words that we've received. Thank you so much. <laughs>